Hey everyone, it's Matt aka Tech Ranger, and today we're going to configure your Xbox to work with your 4K TV so you can get all that 4K goodness. If you have an Xbox One S, an Xbox One X, a 4K display, any of those, you're going to want to watch this video just so you know how to set up your Xbox to work with your 4K TV. And there's a couple things that you need to know in order to get the most out of your Xbox on your 4K TV. So if that's something you're interested in, then stick around. If you want to learn more about 4K TVs in general or just kind of an introduction to 4K, I do have a video on that. And then I also have a video on the TV that I currently own. That. So first things first, you're going to want to open your settings. And if you don't know how to do that, easy way to do it, just hit your guide button, go all the way to the right to where the gear icon is, and then look down in the menu and you'll see settings. Click on that. You're going to be brought to another menu. You'll see display and sound is one of the options. You're going to want to click on that. You'll see three options on the menu that pops up on the right. And you're going to want to hit the video output one. And that is will take you to the screen that you will need to pay attention to. First things first, you'll see resolution on the top left. You want to hit that drop down menu. If you have a 4K display active, you will see 4K UHD there and you will need to hit that. As I recorded this video, I did it on a 1080p capture card, so I'm not going to see that option because I was actually recording this off of my monitor. Pardon my amateur footage, but I'm going to show you that on my actual 4K TVs just so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. Next, you're going to want to click on video modes in the middle, and this is going to be the screen where you kind of need to just check all the boxes. Everything that your TV can do will have a box here that you can check. And that'll range from HDR, Dolby Vision, 50 Hertz, which is more of like a European thing. So if you're not overseas in Europe or like the Asia Pacific region, that probably won't really need to worry about that. But you might as well just check the box anyway. And this is just kind of just to make sure that your Xbox can do everything that your TV can do. See so if you have a TV like mine and you're not really fond of the HDR or the Dolby Vision or it doesn't do it well, you can just leave that unchecked and your Xbox will just do SDR, which is standard dynamic range for everything, all pieces of content that you play in 4K will show up as SDR if unless you check one of those two things. Now my TV, it accepts like an HDR signal, but it doesn't look that great. So if that's kind of where you're at, then you might not want to check that one. And that is going to do it for this video. Feel free to look at the Xbox help article that I have on screen right now just to kind of get familiarized with how to adjust your display settings because it is a really handy resource. I know this is a lot of information to throw at you in one little video, so I figured I'd just show you the settings rather than throw all the 4K stuff at you so you're like, um, I don't know what to pick. Thanks for watching, like the video if you enjoyed it, and if you guys have any questions or anything, put that in the comments down below and I will try to answer that for you. And don't forget, we are going to have two videos this week, depending on when you're watching this. I'm trying to do the two videos a week schedule for a little bit, and we'll see how that works out. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye.